Here we're looking at forming an expression for the end term of a quadratic sequence. Just before we get into an example, a quadratic sequence is one which will have not just a first difference, but it will have a second difference. And your expression will also have a power of two in it. So you'll notice that the highest power is two. That's what will tell you if it's a quadratic sequence. Over to the right here, I've just done a few bullet points which are going to help us to form the quadratic sequence expression. So just keep them in mind as you're doing the question out. They're the little uh, study tips. So as I said, your quadratic sequence will take the form with a square in it. So it'll be something like an squared plus bn plus c, where a, b and c stand for some random unknown numbers. And those unknown numbers, a, b and c, are what you have to find. In this example here, we're saying to find an expression for the nth term of the following quadratic sequence, 13, 15, 23, 37, so on and so on and so on. If you look up here to my little bullet point steps, the first thing you need to do is find the second difference. So I'm just going to go off now and find the second difference between 13, 15, 23 and 37. So I'm going to first of all find my first difference. And if your sequence finishes in a first sequence, then it's linear, but you will see that this is not linear because it's not the same first difference. It's going to, then the difference between 23 and 15 is eight. And the difference from 37 to 23 is 14. So that's my first difference. I'm now going to see, can I find my second difference? And you'll see here that it's going up in a plus six and again, a plus six. So therefore I have found at least that it is a quadratic sequence. The next step is that I need to find the a, the a as part of my a n squared plus b n plus c. And the a is simply found from just dividing the second difference by two. So I'm going to go now and find my a. So my a is equal to my second difference divided by two. So a is equal to uh, six, positive six divided by two, which is equal to three. So there's my a found. So I can now rewrite my expression for my quadratic sequence as tn is equal to a n squared. Well, my a is now three, so I'm going to substitute in my three. So three n squared plus b n plus c. So there's our first letter found. Next thing I need to do now is I need to go off and find the values of my b and my c. And in order to do that, I'm going to use our knowledge of simultaneous equations. So I'm on to my third at the step here now, which is what I call testing for T1 and T2. And what that means is I'm going to do this out twice. So I'm going to test for T1 first of all. And what I basically do is I'm taking my sequence, my expression for the sequence, 3n squared plus bn plus c. And that is equal to Tn, my sequence. And what I'm doing is I'm basically now going to test it Instead of Tn, I'm going to call it T1. So I'm subbing 1 in for n. So I'm going T1, that's the name of my term, is equal to 3 bracket 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. So I'm subbing in my 1 for my n. And you know that the first term in my sequence is 13. So look at your sequence. The first term in that sequence is 13. So I'm going to let this equal to 13 because I know that the first term must give me 13. And when I evaluate that, I get one squared is one, one multiplied by three is three, plus one multiplied by B is one B, plus C is equal to 13. And if I rearrange it, if I subtract three from both sides or move the three over the equal sign, I will leave myself with one B plus C is equal to 13 take away 3, which is 1b plus c is equal to 10. Or you can just call it b plus c is equal to 10. So that's testing for T1. Next thing I do, if I come back up to my steps, I'm going to test now for T2. So I'm now testing for T2. So let me just sort out my page here. And I'm coming over and I'm taking my sequence expression once again, which is Tn is equal to 3n squared plus Bn plus C. I'm going to test for T2. So that is giving me Tn 
is equal to 3n squared plus bn plus c. I'm going to substitute 2 in for n. So it's t2, or term 2, is equal to 3 times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c, and that is equal to my second term in my sequence, and the second term in my sequence is now 15, if I come back over to my sequence. So I'm going to let that equal to positive 15, and I'm just going to sub in my n, which is now 2. And if I work that out, I get 2 squared is 4, 4 by 3 is 12, so t2 is equal to 12, plus 2 times b, which is 2b, plus c is equal to positive 15. Just rearranging, or take 12 away from both sides, I'm getting 2b plus c is equal to 15, take away 12, which is 2b plus c is equal to uh, positive 3. Now, at this stage, you have now formed two equations in terms of b's and c's. So in order to solve for b and c, we're going to use simultaneous equations. So I'm setting up now a simultaneous equation. So it's 1b plus c is equal to 10. And it is 2b plus c is equal to 3. I have the c's being the same value, 1c and 1c. I need to make one of them a negative, so I'm going to multiply the bottom line by a minus 1, because you always need one of them to be a positive and one of them to be a negative. So that is giving me 1b plus c is equal to positive 10. Multiply the bottom line by minus 1 gives me minus 2b minus c is equal to minus 3. I now have a plus 3, or sorry, a plus c, take away a c, that gives me 0, so I'm just putting in a line through them. 1b take away 2b is giving me minus 1b is equal to 10 take away 3 which is 7. I need to get b on its own so that is giving me 7 divided by minus 1 so b is equal to negative 7. I now want to come over and find the value for c. Now you might want to sub the minus 7 in for b, you can do it that way if you want, but in case I've made a mistake with my first value, I'm just going to do it out again. So I'm taking the same two equations, 1b plus c is equal to 10, 2b plus c is equal to 3. And I'm going to do my simultaneous equations again, but this time I want to cancel the b's. So I'm going to multiply the top value by a negative 2, because 2 by b will give me the 2b, and I'm also multiplying by the minus in order to get 1 being a plus and 1 being a negative. So multiplying the whole top line by minus 2 gives me minus 2b minus 2c is equal to minus 20, and my bottom equation stays the same. You can see here now that minus 2b plus 2b is 0, so I'm putting a line through them, and minus 2c plus c is giving me minus 1c, and that is equal to minus 20 plus 3 is minus 17. Again, I want a positive c, so I'm dividing across by minus 1, and a minus divided by a minus is giving me a positive 17. And we are practically finished. We've now found our a, b, and c. We found our a to be 3, so we've subbed that in. We've now got our b to be minus 7, so I'm going to sub that in now to my expression. And I've now found my c to be 17. So I'm just going to come over for my last line here. And I'm going to go tn, the name of my expression, is equal to an squared plus bn plus c. And I'm subbing back in my a, b, and c. So my nth term is 3n squared plus my minus 7 for b plus my 17 for c, which is the same as 3n squared minus 7n plus 17. And that is us finished. That is your expression for the nth term. Now, what I always do is I just uh, verify it or I test it to make sure I didn't make a mistake. So I just pick any term in my list. You don't need to do this, but it's good practice. I'm just going to pick any term in my list. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to test it for, say, uh, Tn. Let's test for Tn. So, or sorry, not Tn, uh, T4. So I'm going to sub 4 in for n. So that is giving me 3 times 4 all to be squared, minus 7 times 4, plus 17. 
Now, if you remember, what is our fourth term? If I come over to my sequence here, my fourth term is 37. So that's T1, T2, T3, T4. So I'm trying to get to 37. And if I get to 37, well, then I know I'm right. And if I do have my sum here, uh, 4 squared is 16. 3 16s are 48. Minus 28 plus 17, which is giving me T4 is equal to 37. And I verified that 37 is equal to 37. So good practice to always just check one of your values in your formula that you found. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.